Hey, guys, gals, grouper, rockfish, giraffes, elephants, mitochondrial DNA, possibly muskrats, lady, gentlemen, and llamas. I don't know. I got more in my head. I could keep going through them. Elon Musk is kind of his own creation, his own animal slash vegetable slash cybernetic computer brain. But anyway, here we are. We're back. We've got Battle Box. It's number 99. I'm hoping that 100 is. You should open the box and fireworks should go off. But I know many of you are disappointed that there are going to be no more drunk unboxings for a while. So before I open the box, don't forget guys, hit subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, turn on all your notifications, hit like, drop a comment, tell your friends, share, make sure that, you know, you do all those, those fun, you know, I'm supposed to tell you to do those things in the beginning of the video, like grownups tell you to do those things in the beginning of the video. We got Battle Box, we got Mission 99, thanks to Steve, just to prove I'm doing the right thing. Um, so, here it is. On a beautiful May day. Um, I have gotten one spoiler on what's in this box. Normally, you guys know I, I try to avoid all of them. I know it's this. And we'll talk about this. But <clears throat> I'm not even going to use this to open the box. We're going to go back to the Devo Mash. What a great knife. I love this knife. Why does knife have a K in it? So, let's go with Battle Box Mission 99. This is the Pro Plus box. That's a cool thing. I don't know if this is a cool, what the hell is that? I thought that was like a wallet at first, but it's got shit in it. An SD, maybe that, maybe that goes with that. <clears throat> this is the same one we got? Maybe not. I don't know. I should just shut up and take everything out of, oh God, is this quick clock? Oh, I've got some funny stories. Okay, anyway. Are we hungry? Hmm. So we've got everything here. We got, uh, is this an actual item? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to assume that's there. Seven. Seven items in the Pro Plus. <coughs> in the biggest, bestest, fastest. Mission 99. Adventure delivered. Why does he have no friends? Or is he just like looking over, they'll never find my wife's body in there. I think that's probably, I've been watching too much Law & Order SVU. I guess that's the Wehungi. Um. All right, so what's up Battlebox family? Shut up. So we've got the basic box, advanced box, pro box. This is not, Lee. and the pro plus which is the knife of the month so <clears throat> just like i have to do when you get one level you get that and everything that comes before it so there's there's four levels this is the highest level um we're going to start with the basic box and we're going to move right through so this wallet thing is the battle box camping tripod where the hell did my knife go who stole my knife these sons of bitches i don't need it so I understand, if I'm understanding the concept reading this, it doesn't smell like Lord and Field leather. Lord and Field always had great leather. This does not smell like Lord and Field leather, nor does it feel like it. So this is to make a tripod out of sticks, and you know when we could have used this? Oh my god, in basic training. Bunch of young, dumb privates, many of whom, most of whom, have never held a rifle in their lives, so when you're, so when you're, uh, you do a lot of, believe it or not, you guys probably, I don't know, they never show this in the movies. They show this in a couple movies. You do a lot of classes in basic training. A lot of classes, and you march there. You have to tripod your weapons, your M16s, which I'm sure are M4 now, but I'm old as shit. And the I know I've gone a long way to get you to this. The hilarity of watching people try to tripod up. Um, and so basically you 
you put them up with the um, what am I thinking the forward the front sight on the rifles together and and so that's you lean them together and ugh. I'm just saying having this having this then sorry I came a long fucking way to just say having this then would have been awesome to tripod up our rifles because um, of course if they fall you got to get down with it <clears throat> which means you do push-ups with your rifle laying across your hands good times good times being young and dumb and having the excuse that I'm too young and stupid to know better so but anyway this would have been cool for that would have been cool for that I see what they're saying though so like if you want to use sticks and then, uh, I guess, and again, I'm reading. You can suspend this. You can, you can hang stuff from it. You can make a fire with it. Um, I, you know, I guess my thought on this is all, this is actually camping outdoors kind of stuff. That's cool. How much is it worth? How much does it cost? How much have I edited out of the ridiculous basic training story? Because my mind is complete mush right now. I don't know. Um... But you know what? This is a simple thing. Most people won't need this. A lot of people won't need this, I should say. But it is a simple time-saving thing. You could use this to uh, rack up the three pieces of wood, and then you can fix them together. And then you can move this on to another one and, and use that. And I, I mean, so you can actually use this to set up a few different things, like all at once. And it also bears a strong resemblance to a part of the M197 20 millimeter rotary cannon on the AH-1. I wonder if that's intentional or what. 20 millimeter, it's, uh, yeah. Before the, the Apache had the M230, the 197 was the 20 millimeter gun on the Cobra. Anyway, all right. It's still the gun on the Cobra. Um on the Whiskey and the Zulu Cobra. So anyway, interesting item. I could see its value. I could see its... I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, I will not go off on crazy tangents like that. It's just, I look at things and I'm like, what could they be useful for today? There you go. Let me do this. All right, next. Roaring Fire Ember Pouch. Comes in a plastic bag. I wonder if this thing is waterproof. Has a warranty card. Oh. So there's nothing in it. When it said ember pouch, I thought maybe it was a fire starting kit, but no, it's just a pouch. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I've seen this exact pouch on Amazon under some other names. Roaring Fire is a brand though that I'm familiar with, I've heard. I believe I have gotten this exact pouch from someone. I don't know if it was Roaring Fire. Um, not a bad pouch though. They don't, okay, so it doesn't come with, you know, when we talk about Molly compatible or whatever. <clears throat> so it has the PALS webbing. Remember, Molly is an equipment system. The straps and all that is not Molly, that is PALS. Okay? Molly is a, is a specific military issued equipment system. But the straps and everything to connect it, that's the PALS system. So it is PALS. It is compatible with Molly gear, right? But that's not the only thing that uses PALS webbing. And people that don't know that just don't know that. So this goes into, Mo guess the Molly system, but also anything else that accepts PALS webbing or is compatible with Molly. But normally we, when we say, when we say the words Molly compatible, what we expect to see are the vertical straps that weave through these. So you absolutely could put this on to any other gear that uses the system. You just need to provide the straps and they sell those they sell those in a lot of different places <clears throat> and it's got a patch panel oh and you can even put something behind it like to strap something else to it or just put little knickknacks in there and then on the front and that's cool but shouldn't this have a uh shouldn't this have a little slider to like tighten it or is that I don't know that's weird to me Can you say anything about that I mean I guess you could just tie it tighter but wouldn't it be great to have one of those you know I forgot what it's called but you push the button and slide it and it cinches it anyway I like the color choices OD green and this tan um, I'd like it better if it's all OD green because that's just me 
and then you've got big pocket on this side big pocket on this side and a bunch of little elasticies this would make a great light duty medical pouch i mean you could put some trauma related gear in it i don't know how fat it gets it's awesome that it sits flat open it 180 degrees so no matter what you have in here that you need to get at i love that you could put it on the ground and open it and get at it to me that's a great pouch feature not a lot of pouches we look at have the ability to open 180 degrees you also could open it and i guess hang it which is nice too to get at a lot of different stuff <clears throat> you know that's i mean that's another good feature um, it's not a bad pouch actually i don't know again a lot of my opinion hinges on what do they say it costs and i don't know right now because i'm not doing the doing this i don't know why they can't just put it in here like full open transparency and stuff but i like the quality of the pouch it looks good materials look good metal zippers with nice zipper pulls um and the zippers are protected as you i mean this looks like a decent piece of gear and you can use it for a number of things whether it is a tactical slash tactical application um or camping or hiking whatever this is a decent piece i i can get behind this cool now next we're looking at the bleed stop 20 g um, i'm sure we would all agree a capillary bleed is bad so now i got to talk about that so if you have external bleeding and since they brought it up you know, you got three kinds of vessels. Some people might not know this. So you've got your capillaries, which are closest to the surface of the skin, most numerous. And normally when you're bleeding, if you see blood coming out of your body, it's capillary. Then you've got <clears throat> venous and you've got arterial, okay? So when you see spurting blood, you see it in the movies, um, every time the heart beats and it spurts, that's arterial bleeding. And guess what? That is some major bad news. And that, you will die from that unless you get it uh, taken care of. And that's usually what we're going to put a tourniquet on. If you see a constant flow of blood out as if somebody has a faucet on, that is venous bleeding. That is, in general, we say arteries go to the heart. There's one case where that's not true. I'm not going to get into that. We say veins go from the heart. That's, there's one case where that's not true. Uh, real, okay, uh, arteries carry oxygenated blood. Veins carry unoxygenated blood. Capillaries are the little vessels that bring blood to all the different tissues and they actually do that oxygen uh deoxygenated blood exchange but if you cut your skin and you start bleeding that's coming from capillaries capillary bleeding is a is an ooze when blood oozes out rather than and believe me if you've ever seen venous bleeding versus capillary bleeding you know what i'm talking about the difference between the flowing faucet the you know versus the ooze and if you've ever seen an arterial bleed you know what I'm talking about with a spurt with like a water gun and shoot it. It's very different. If you see it, it's clearly apparent. Now, they mention capillary bleeds on purpose. Um, and I don't know why they say that at all. Is this, this is stopping capillary bleed. I don't know why they're, they're mentioning capillary bleeding specifically. It says capillary bleed is bad. Most bleeding you're going to encounter in your life is capillary bleeding. Like that's, if you get an abrasion, if if you know if you get road rash if you get um you fall down scrape your kids falls down scrapes their knee to playground that's capillary bleeding that's if you cut yourself in the kitchen even though you might think oh that's a really deep cut that's probably capillary bleeding i'm just i'm mystified why they went straight to capillary bleed is bad like that's a major I, i'm trying to wrap my mind around the wording here so bleed stop and what this is works for people's on blood thinners too this is reminding me of quick clot which was one of the original one of the original things um pour into wound onto wound and then apply pressure okay pack powder onto the wound generously but not into the wound so this is not to stop or so there's a little bit so quick clot just to give you a background was not a brand new invention but it really came to the forefront in combat and it's one of the first um oh uh, what's the word hemo hemo not hemodynamic i can't think of it 
but it was a powder substance that when you poured into a trauma wound and then packed with pressure, uh, it kind of solidified, making a artificial clot. What <clears throat> the bad training they were giving their new combat medics was to, <laughs> was it wasn't bad training, but you know, you were taught to hold this away from yourself and open it and very closely pour it into the wound. What was happening was brand new guys in combat were finding that they needed one hand over here and one hand over here. They were ripping it open with their teeth. And so anyway, this stuff would react. Quick clot would react with any liquid, especially wet eyeballs and nose and mouth. <clears throat> and so young, inexperienced guys would rip this open with their teeth and the powder would get up in the air. They'd inhale it, they'd get it in their mouth, they'd get it in their eyes, and guess what? That hemostatic, that's it, that hemostatic reaction that they were looking for to take place in the wound now started to take place. We had guys with very bad eye damage. Would They'd have now problems in the, in the mouth and the nose because they were, they were not using it properly. They were freaked out. Anyway. I don't know if this is the same kind of stuff. I really don't know if this is the same stuff as what old Quick Clot was. But I can tell you that no matter what it is, so awesome, awesome. I would want to do some more research on this. Like, is it not, does it not work in the case of a, of a more serious bleed, like a venous bleed? Like if there's a, a cut down here and, and you, you've got uh, greater vessels exposed or, or what is the deal? But. What you definitely want to do is make sure that you open it a safe distance away from any of your mucous membranes. You want to you don't want to, you know, so it goes everywhere. You want to very carefully um, control the the output of this so that it goes into the wound. You also don't want to waste it, and then you want to immediately be able to cover that in a, in a gentle procedure so that you're not spreading the powder around, and you want to clean the powder up as soon as possible. It feels like a powdered product. I'm not. I'm just not familiar with bleed stuff. Um, I've seen quick clot in in combat situations. Um, you know, back when I was still a medic. So you know, I talked about basic training. I told you. I told you guys over and over that was not my first MOS. But very quickly, my first MOS was in the, the cavalry field, um, and then in the uh, the mid '90s, the army realized that they had a critical shortage of combat field medical personnel, and so they did the great. Um, and I'm not complaining at the time I was, but they basically looked through ASVAB scores and, and uh, had a, a small board and they were like, you can be a medic and 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 sent people just trampling through Fort Sam Houston um, for medic school and also had recruiters, you know, focus on recruiting combat medics. Um, they, at that time, it was, they, they the army thought that there was going to be round two of Desert Storm because Hussein was still being quite an asshole. They just didn't know the timing of it, I guess. But um, I've seen Quick Clot really do good stuff. I've also seen some people like be real assholes about how they use it, and that's completely operator error. So if you're gonna, so this is really cool to have. Um, this is great stuff that can really work. I I just. I need to look into, is it, why are they stressing capillary bleed so much? <clears throat> oh, and by the way, and this is not a put it on and you're done. You use this, you need to go to the hospital. This is, so this is used, followed immediately by a trip to the ER, whether it's 911 through the ambulance or you throw them in a car. Because um, this is not, this is not a one and done procedure and now everything's fine. This needs to be followed. If, if, the, if the injury is so bad that you're whipping this out to use it, it needs medical follow-up from it. Um, one of the things that is terrible with a large, so if you've got a large area where lots of um, skin and tissue is exposed enough that you've got so much capillary bleeding, you can't stop it, um, even, even if it's regular. Uh, what that means is that there's a huge amount of skin opened up, and this is your primary defense from infection, so that's what you're thinking about now. So you need to get uh, to, to higher medical level care where they can, number one, probably give you a prophylactic dose of antibiotics. And number two, like, so we saw all the time uh, on EMS, on ambulance, we get a simple call where it was like, you know, kid fell down at the park, but later on in the ER, they actually had doctors that kind of go in and they got to like remove little pieces of gravel and all that stuff and really wash that wound out to prevent that kid from getting something gangrenous or some shit later on, okay? So understand this is this is an emergency care step, but this is not the last step in your care. Sorry, 
it's medical. You guys knew what you were signing up for when you clicked on this video. Um, but this is a good item to have. Just, there's a lot that, yeah. All right, fuck up. Next, Night Eyes Loopable Two-Pack Twist Tie. I can't complain about this either. Do you know, oh, this is cool. <clears throat> for at least 20 years, I have been, they sell these things uh, on base. And I have found new and exciting ways to use these. They come in all sizes, um, lengths and, and widths. These things, these gear ties are, they're twisty ties that you would get for like when you close up a bag, when you buy fruit or a bag, of, a loaf of bread. But they're big, they're heavy duty. And you know what? I have used them on deployment. I have used them on field exercises. I have used them to jury rig shit in the house or whatever. These things are actually awesome. And I haven't seen these ones with the loop, but um, I made uh, when, so when me and Sam's dad and Aiden drove cross, cross country back in 2012 from Mountain Home, Idaho, from the base there, um, when I got orders to Florida, uh, he, he flew out, uh, and that's actually the first time we met face to face. Well, not the first time we met face to face. Yeah, it is. It's the first time we met face to face, me and Darren. That's the first time. Uh, and he volunteered to, to drive with me and we got to know each other and had a good old time. Um, and Aiden came with us and we made, uh, we, we made a, a, a tablet holder over the, over the front seat, um, to hold the tablet, um, uh, on the back of the front seat for Aiden to watch videos and stuff out of, out of these. Um, and, and so they're just, they're incredibly useful. Now, again, I don't know what value they're putting on these things, but I have, I have used these things for a whole bunch. These actually are, and even though they look like you can get them in Walmart, I'm sure, they're very useful to have. I can't complain about these. They're not exciting. Well, they are kind of exciting to me because I like to make all sorts of stuff up. Um, I mean, but I, I, any item that I have used on a deployment that I have actually taken in the field, I can't complain about BattleBox putting in a box. I actually like this basic box. Don't like the leather that came in that. But I like this pouch. I'm iffy on this because I need to learn more, but in concept, I like it, and these are cool. So, um, that's not a bad basic box. I guess, I don't, again, value wise, I don't know how much basic box costs these days. So that's cool. Who would have thought? Who would have thought I'd be saying it? Uh, going into this, the advanced box, this Tactica knife. I don't even need to open it, but I'll just show you. It's got the usual Tactica. Now, I, I actually put on the community tab. I asked folks for help because I knew we've seen this before twice. The last time I remember seeing it was December 2020 in a barrel and blade. So here it is, the exact same knife. Um, last time I looked, they wanted $99 for this knife. Now, this knife is not a bad knife, but this is not a $99 knife. Love the blade shape. Do. It's D2 steel. So, you know, very standard uh, coming out of China, and it is made of China, very standard coming out of China steel. Um, again, love, love reverse tanto blade shape. Same criticism I had of it before. This lock is ridiculous. It is nearly impossible to get your thumb on. Um, I just, I, I don't know. You've got a metal um, backspacer with your lanyard hole and a very generous lanyard hole at that, so that's cool. Textured G10, steel liners, and the orange anode on the thumb studs. The action is really nice, and it's a decent size, especially uh, EDC-wise. Um, but the price, it is, it is at least, uh, you can find a comparable knife for, for half the price on Amazon. I mean, honestly, you can. Um, now, I don't, again, I don't, I don't know what they're gonna put for the price on this now. I'm telling you that December of last year, which is not that far away, this thing had a price listed of $99. And with all of the options out there today, I would have hoped, I would have hoped that these guys would have uh, just kind of thought twice about it and brought the price down. Um, so those are the two the two real things that I have to say about the knife. I've, I've, I've carried it around, oh, and it's got no clip. Why in the name of fuck would you not put a clip on a knife? For why? For what reason? For how does that enhance the knife at all? You can put a removable clip for people that don't like the clip, but if the knife has no clip, then you're like alienating that whole, 
that whole um, consumer base. I have carried the knife around a little bit. I have used it a little bit. And like I said, you know, so there's three things. Number one, the price is, is kind of stupid for what you're getting. Number two, that lock is just too too little, like to get a real nice, comfortable grip on to, to unlock the knife. It just is. And number three, why the hell are you giving me no clip? Not even not even a clip that's immobile, you know, with no option. Um, but why no clip? Why not? I just think that um, if they're if they're packing this in the advanced box based on an MSRP price, which can't hate on BattleBox for that. Everybody does that. Um, but for that same $99 price, there's there's better options um, or or whatever. But I'll just leave I'll leave uh, Steve's perfectly in the box because we have this one to look at. Okay. Um, so there there that's it. And you know what? If you want to see my original unboxing longer look at it, I'll I'll put that barrel and blade video in the video description. You can check it out. I know we've seen it at least one other time in the history of histories. So moving into the Pro Box, we've got the Bushnell Cellucor Cellular Trail Camera. Last time we looked at a trail camera, we got it from Crate Club, and it was a complete bust. Thing did not work. Um, now, Adam can play, because Adam pays for Crate Club, and they did send a brand new, free of charge, brand new camera, which was great. I never bothered to test it because I was just like, fuck this, I'm not wasting any time with it. Um, and there were, I guess, known issues with that particular model. But this is a different brand. Um, it looks like it's got the same thing set up, though. You have to download an app. You have to pay for a service. However, this one also lets you put the SD card in. So, connected by AT&T, yeah, so you have to, first 30 days are free, but just like the other one, I can almost guarantee you that they say no contracts, but what's going to happen is you're going to sign up, and if you forget to cancel, they're going to start charging you the monthly fee. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do before I have to send this stuff to Steve. We'll probably do a second video just kind of taking a look at this. I believe that you can use it without the without the contract, sorry, without the subscription and just use it with, you know, without having the pictures beamed to your phone and just use the, uh, the SD card. This might use even more batteries than the other one did. I, they probably, yeah, they sell a DC in, so they sell a you know a power bank adapter to it like the other one. Um, okay. So I will do a follow up video, a separate video, just on this guy. We'll see how it works. But it's the only item in the pro box, so if it fails us the way the other one did, you know, the whole pro is nothing. Finally, we have the Wee Hongi. Wee Hongi is, so Wee Hongi is, is a person, by the way. He's got a long history. He's got a great, I mean, he has, he has his street cred in the world of knives. I'm not going to go through it now. This looks like injection molded rather than Kydex. nice mosaic pins holding that in there still cannot hear a plane without looking up to identify it um, I, okay so me just being me it looks like a curved kitchen knife just from the finishing I'm saying you know it's what it looks like Got a pack of wood handle, D2 steel. Killian, California. I'm looking for a made in. Survival Edge is not liable for the damage caused by the misuse of this knife. 
we're gonna have to see where this is made, but I have my suspicions. I had a cut in money when I came out here. Not bad, not bad. I still, I, you know, I don't know if it's so much the design as the finishing that looks kitchen knife-ish of this, but I know that Jared Wahangi is, you know, I'm not comparing him directly to Doug Markaita, but you think of Jared Wahangi, and he's got a lot of the same, um, a lot of some similar experiences. Um, he's an operator type. He's a he's an LEO type. His blades are his based on his experience. Um, and this, I think, definitely has a little fight in it. But it is comfortable, too. I mean, it's not a bad design. I think what he was going for, this is just me assuming, I think he was going for kind of that style while adding a little bit more maybe EDC utility to it, which is what lends it that almost almost chef kitchen appearance. I'm not, And I'm not saying that in an insulting way. Don't get me wrong. Um... A beautiful chef knife is a thing of art. I just, it's, it's the lines uh, on the blade and, and the bolster and everything that kind of give it that look. But I would be, I would be, you know, happy, very happy to use this in the kitchen. It, it has a very nice balance. And the way it's designed, you know, you could easily do your, your I think, yeah, you could do roll. I don't know. I'm not a chef, okay? I'm not Super Steel Steve. But, you know, when you're, you could get a good hold on it and chop with it. You could, I mean, I feel like, I feel like it would perform really well in that area. It's got no sharp edges, no hot spots. I mean, it's a very nicely done handle. You could work with this for a while and with the balance. So you've got weight back here that kind of really nicely balances out the blade. I feel like you could work with this in whatever capacity for a while without straining your wrist or anything like that. It's, it's a nice design. I could understand also why some people might not like it. If you're if you're in this box and you're looking for something that has more of a tactical look or a tactical feel, this might not be it. But you can absolutely see the the uh, Mori um, influence to it, and I like it. I would I would use it um, again, probably more in the kitchen than anything else. This is a very dry twig, but. It just doesn't it just doesn't look like it doesn't it doesn't have the feel of something that I would carry around you know camping or whatever but that could just be me clip on it's very nice and tight would not give you any trouble getting in or out of a pocket I know it's a nice design I mean it's a very nice design I, I've loved stuff that Jerry Wahangi has done. I'm just not sure what the, the intended direction on this was, but it's still, a, I mean, it's a beautiful knife. I really like it. I'm going to read a bit for, you know, about it. Yeah, they talk a lot about Maori heritage, uh, Filipino knife fighting skills. So I'm not an expert in that at all, and I'd be talking completely out of my ass if I if I talked about how, you know, is this good for that, is it not? I can't, that's well out of my wheelhouse, and I will not comment on that. It feels really comfortable though in your hand. So, I like this, I like this knife. Um, survival Edge, Garab, Yarub, I'm not sure how you even pronounce it. Um, I think it's very nice as a knife. I personally would see myself using it in the kitchen and see and see myself using it a lot. You know, I just I don't see myself carrying it in in a, in an outdoors environment so much. Can kitchen knife maybe, you yeah. know. But again, I don't have the training. I don't have that knife fighting training, so I could just be fucking stupid and let's be honest, a good portion of the time I am. So, that's the box. That is the box right there. Um so we've got the Wihangi in the Pro Plus. I'm just thrilled it's a knife of the month, right? We've got the Tactica in, in the Advanced, which, or the Pro, sorry. No, the Advanced, which is not, like I said, I'm going to say it again, not a bad knife, 
I just don't think it's worth the money they're saying it is. It has a couple things I would personally change. We've got this camera in the Pro, which needs more investigating. Um, and, you know, in the basic box, I, I'm kind of, I think they've got some cool things going there. I love these. Good, but brush up on it. It's a great pouch. Um, yeah, so I'm not too mad overall with this box. Um, I'm really looking forward to Mission 100. Absolutely looking forward to Mission 100 to see what they've got going on. What do you guys think? What are your favorites or most hated or uh, what would you be looking forward to using first? And discuss. Tell me what you guys think. Um, this is a longer video than I wanted it to be anyway. So I'm going to go inside and drink some water and try to relax a little bit. Remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome and I appreciate every single one of you and I'll be back again real soon.